Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to verify your domain here on Google Search Console. Okay, so first we're gonna go into apps and then gonna go to DNS Manager. If you never went or access to this app, it will uh, show you a page that you need to install this app in order to have access. Okay, so we're gonna go to here and I have already my my domain connected into a Cheetah, Cheetah website. Okay, so I'm gonna go here and you have two choices uh, here. You have the choice to select the entire domain. Okay, so you can use the entire, uh, all the subdomains, okay, you use across the HTTPS and HTTP and it will require a DNS verification, okay? I'm gonna select the second one because this is the best one. So I can Google search, I can use the, if I have subdomains, okay, I can use um, many things. But since I have access to my records here on my domain, I'm gonna put my domain here. But the basically the difference is that here is included all the cross subdomains that you created from this domain. If you if you ever uh, connect a subdomain from this domain here on the platform, um, this option will work for you. This option is only is only for the URL you put over here. So if you put only the domain, and you create a subdomain, it will not take this subdomain into Search Console. So that's why I'm putting this over here because I want to track every single subdomain that I created on the platform. But you can either choose any of this. So I'm gonna put my domain here. I'm gonna click on continue. So I have several options on how to verify my domain. You can select um, here any domain provider if you have a, a domain provider like GoDaddy. But if you have your domain connected as DNS uh, via DNS um, name servers, you have to do it this way, okay? So what you need to do is that you have to copy this verification code. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go to DNS Manager. I'm gonna go to Manage DNS, okay? So here I have to add a new record. So I will click over here on add new record. So it will be an I record. Uh, it's TXT record is saying over here. So I'm gonna create a TXT record, add. The host will be add, and I will put here my domain, my, my verification code. It, it says that I have to enter that like this. So I have to open like a quote and put it at a quote. Make sure that there's no space, like there's no space like this. So I have to be like this, okay, no spaces, and click on save. It says that it will take up to two hours to reflect your genius due to propagation. So you can see the changes here. If I want to see this reflected, I, I can go into what's my genius, and I can put here my domain name, I'm gonna put txt, so I can, uh, I can search. You can see I already have TXT records to that my domain is connected to Pelin Boss. So you can see uh, some of the of the, of the records here for my boss. But um, from the time that I add this, it can take uh, two hours, it can take 10 minutes, it can take uh, a few minutes, okay? But you have to keep in mind that everything in here, if it starts showing on this one server, you have to wait until uh, all the servers are showing this verification code, okay? After that, you can go click over here and click on verify. This um, is better a better way to do it instead of using um, the meta tag um, type of, of verification because sometimes if you disconnect a domain from that site and you go to another site, you have to make sure to include the that meta tag into that specific site. But if you add it directly from here, you are verifying the domain directly instead of depending on the page you're placing your domain, okay? So I'm gonna wait until this is propagated properly and I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Okay, so I just hit my, um, hit the verify button. You can see that uh, ownership verified. So I can go to go property and I have access to all the, uh, the all the options that includes here on, on, on Google Search Console. So. That's pretty easy to, to verify. You can also create sitemaps for your sites here, okay? But basically, this is how you do it directly on the domain. So you have to depend on meta tags or something like that.